And then 15 minutes later, I got a call. And I answer and I'm like, hello? And the girl is like, hello? Is this Erica? Uh guys this is erica here and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about the time i found out that the guy that was trying to talk to me was in a relationship and i'm filming at my school parking lot and you know what who cares if people see me talking to myself it doesn't really matter i have to pull out the receipts they're right here in my computer and because i don't have a camera to film and then use my phone so we're gonna do it this way so a little background story if you didn't know i do have a strawberry business this is gonna be the name it's gonna be right here so this story takes place last year around mother's day and this guy ends up hitting me up the guy ends up contacting me about an order that he wanted and i don't usually do custom orders but since this guy usually orders well used to order for me a lot he would actually order like a big quantity and you know like then his total would be a lot and honestly like i really appreciated it but either way you know like business is business so that's how he ended up reaching out to me at the beginning um so he ended up saying that if he could if i could make him a custom like mother's day gift and i was like you know i don't do customs during like holidays like it's only on my main on my menu and he's like look like i'm a really loyal customer like please i need something special x y and z okay so as a person who has a business sometimes you want to like complacer the customer but also you want more work so they know like other people know that you could do more stuff than what you usually do and so it was around like may like a few days before mother's day he said good morning he would call me sis at the beginning so i was just like okay weird he said good morning sis so what happened am i getting a box or what because i had told him you know like i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it or when i'm gonna go get the box and i was like my bad i've been lagging um i've been busy but i'm here now so i was at the down the flower district so if you know i'm always there so I'm going to show the screenshots of like our messages and like, okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. So right here, I'm like, oh, I'm going to find your box. There's this one. So I was just showing him like the, the boxes. He ended up picking one. He picked a white one and then, um, and that was that. So then, um, I ended up texting him that same day like in the afternoon and i was like i was going to ask you something regarding the box and he said que onda and i said pues like um how big do you want the arreglo and he said super big and that same day i ended up texting him again regarding the mother's day gift and i was like okay so like what is it that you want like how big do you want it because um like i really don't know what you want like i knew said you want something big but i want something specific so i know what i'm going to create and so we're just talking about like the fla what kind of flowers he wants and like the box or like how big he wants it and then so i'm like asking him like what colors do you want me to use um x y and z so i'm showing him samples of like the internet of like okay so like these are some like inspo pictures um that i could re recreate but like my own way so at the beginning of like us talking is only regarding the the mother's day like arrangement like that's literally all of our conversations from the beginning is just mother's day like the arreglo he asked me to make for him prior to this we were also texting on my strawberry page and right there we were talking about the order too but he had reached out to me there because he said he if i could drop him off the arrangement to his house 
And I said, I, I can't do that. I don't do, like, I don't do, like, delivery. You're going to have to pick it up. And he's like, well, it's because I'm going to be out of town. And I was like, well, we could move it up for, like, the Mother's Day of Mexico, which is May 10th. And he's like, yeah, like, that sounds um, great. And I think last year, Mother's Day was a Monday, I think, like, for Mexico. Oh, yeah, this shows right here. It was Monday. Um... So anyways, one thing about that, since he was out of town, he ended up sending me pictures. I don't have the pictures, obviously. Um, he ended up sending me pictures of him drinking, I guess. Like he was, he had a cabin with his friends. And I was like, okay, like whatever, like trying to like, you know, like it's not part of the conversation we're having right now. So I never acknowledged them. So then fast forward to May 10th, I said, your order will be ready by 2 uh, 2 30 and he said for sure sis hey sis how much is it going to be and then he put niña fresa and then so i replied to him an hour later well he texted me an hour later and then i put 110 and then he put before two or at two and then i was like two or after two is fine and he's like okay because i'm already in la because i'm telling you he was at a cabin i think he went to big bear so at this point like when he said i'm here bro I went to go get the arrangement. I handed it to him. He gave me the money. He gave me a tip because he always would give me tips. And then he put down says it's fucking huge. I'm I could barely I could barely fit it in the fridge. And I just sent him a smiley face. And that's it. I didn't reach out to him. I ended my business with him. I got my money. Two days later. So he ends up reaching out Thursday night, and then we follow the conversation until Friday night so um friday comes around like friday around after like friday afternoon he ends up asking me if i could pick him up and if you don't know this about me but i don't pick up guys guys don't get in my car that is just a no no like that's not part of my standards i don't mess with that whoever has gotten in my car and that's a guy that's because they are my friends and that's about it Whoever gets in my car and like I'm talking to them in that way does not get in my car. That I say no, I, I'm not gonna pick you up. He just wanted to go to the bank, and I was like, okay, well, if you're gonna go to the bank, then you could just take your truck. And he's like, fine, but like, it's because I wanted to ride from you, X, Y, and Z. And I was like, well, no. He ends up offering if he, he ends up inviting me to go to the bank with him. And I'm like, okay, yeah, like, I'll go. And then, um, so, so we end up going to the bank and he comes back and we end up talking like, I could you not three minutes until like he turns on the car and he drops me off home. And something that I never mentioned to his girlfriend is that he did kiss me on the cheek. And then, so he drops me off. Um, I didn't text. He dropped me off like around, I kid you not, like around 6. We went, like it was already going to be 6 either way. Like it, it wasn't even that long that I left. I just left for like 20, 15 minutes. And then um, I ended up going out with my mom and I get a call from him. And that was weird because he had never called me. Well, why would he call me? Had been like the second day breaking, I know. He ends up calling me saying, hey. Like, um, I know we hang out, like, like, quickly. Like, do you have any plans, like, for later on? And then I was like, well, no, like, I don't have any plans. He ended up calling me around 8. I get home, like, around 8.30, but I don't tell him I'm home until 9. So he had told me to tell him when I got home. So around nine-ish, I'm like, I'm home. And he said, uh, for sure, are you ready? And he and I said, yeah. And he said, I'll be there in 15. And then 15 minutes later, I got a call. And I answer and I'm like, hello? And the girl is like, hello? Is this Erica? Uh, and I'm like, hi. And I said her name, I'm like, hi. Like, I'm just going to say a random name. Hi, Jeez. And she's like, she's like, oh my God. Like, I just can't believe this. Like, you guys really did this to me. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, did this to you? Like, who did what to you? 
but like in my head like in my head i'm just trying to process everything that's going on and she's like like girl to girl like tell me what happened like what went down like how long have you guys been talking and i was like oh, what do you mean like she's like yeah like um he's over here breaking up with me and like i just saw the messages he's gonna go meet up with you and i was like girl i don't i don't know nothing about i didn't know nothing about you or that he was over there breaking up with you and he's like yeah he's like when he called you earlier like it was like a test like i told him to call you you were on speaker the whole time but i didn't say nothing bad i was like well i'm like if he wanted to hang out i was down but honestly like i didn't think you were in the picture like my bad i guess and she's like oh like girl to girl like tell me what you guys did and i was like look like i didn't do nothing we haven't done anything to begin with and i'm like either way the messages are there for you to see and like you could see that like from my end like i never approached him like he was the one approaching me he's like what do you mean what messages like he, he deleted everything ah so he deleted everything like from his end so now it makes it seem that i'm the side and i'm like what the hell like this li literally he just texted me yesterday and the girl found out the next day like bro he does not know how to be a cheater first of all because the guy who wants to cheat is gonna cheat regardless and the girl will never find out <sighs> so then i end up telling her like from the beginning hey like the only reason he really did reach out to me was because of the mother's day arrangement um, but other than that, like, we don't have any business. Like, we have not done anything. He literally just reached out to me yesterday that he wanted mm -hmm. to hang out. And I was like, we, we just went to the bank. And he's like, what do you mean you guys went to the bank? Like, you guys hang out? And I was like, well, yeah, like, earlier today. And she's like, oh, my God, like, girl to girl. Like, tell me, like, did you guys do anything? And that's why I didn't tell her that he kissed me on the cheek. And so I was like, I'm not trying to make this situation worse. I'm done and then that same the next morning he calls me okay first of all i was super embarrassed at the point at the fact that like she answered the phone i thought he called me because i'm like hey i'm outside but it was his girlfriend and like i just had explained to the girl like look like i have the messages if you want the messages i'll send you everything he has ever sent me like he's the one approaching me he's the one inviting me never did he mention that he was in a relationship never did i was like if anything the only thing i fucked up in was not asking if he was in a relationship but you weren't in the picture so i didn't assume she was in the picture you know like he never mentioned it and either way like i would never want to ruin a relationship and then he ended up texting me sideways. I'm just going to insert the screenshot of our conversation. It was, it was a little awkward afterwards because they both followed me on Instagram. There were occasions where I would go live and she would join my life and then he would join my life so then you know how when you're on instagram life if you could see the people who joined after you joined but that was like back like last year because now you could actually see the thing so that happened and then after that incident that he ended up like joining my life he ended up following me not like a that same day but she didn't end up on following me so made it and yeah like he was still trying to work things out with me and i was like no like that shit cut it out like i'm not with it like that's so disrespectful it's my fault that i never asked if he he was in a relationship but i can't believe that he was stupid enough to get caught and i can't believe i was stupid enough to not see that he had a girlfriend my intentions were never to even get serious with this guy he had like just barely approached me like a day ago so it wasn't like that serious but for me to find out that he was breaking up with her and then he was gonna go like go pick me up because she had said she asked him to tell me to hang out later that day but it was her idea because i was on speaker but regardless of that for me not to find out 
he was still gonna pick me up and we were still gonna hang out and i was like girl i am shook i am shook to this guy's freaking like willingness to fucking leave her and to go with me so i wouldn't find out you know moral of the story if a guy is approaching you ask him if he has a girlfriend or post him post him on the first day you guys go out because uh, it's gonna be free so um that's that and that's why i ended up making a new inst that was the reason i ended up making a new instagram because the girl was just literally following me every single step i did like girl i don't want your man keep your man he's a cheating ass man i don't want him like you could keep him you could keep him girl i don't need him i don't need a guy who's cheated on me like i don't need a guy who's like lying to me you could keep him like that was just a major red 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 big flag and the fact that he still wanted to work things out and that is so crazy i can't believe she called me or i was on the phone with her for a cool minute I'm trying to explain to her so yeah guys that is it for today's video it was pretty crazy it might be all over the place this is my first story time um and if you did like it please give it a thumbs up and comment your favorite timestamp i will be doing a giveaway of five dollars to a starbucks gift card um because starbucks is my favorite at the moment so i would like to give one of you guys a free drink and i know it's a small giveaway but you know it's kind of cute uh type of way to say thank you for watching and if you guys do want to hear more story times let me know i do 